Alright. Hope you hear over here, five pound base company. Got this one here going to Hawaii for Kevin. I'm gonna show you. I gotta mark the frets on it there yet. I'm gonna show you guys how that happens. How that works here. This is my little gauge I use to lay out the center of the paddle. So all the frets are in the kind of in line there. You don't want them wobbled all over. The place. See that? That's my center line. Now all I got to do is go through, and we'll see if we get her tuned to open the air, tuned to E here. Make sure it's right on the money. Then we use the tuner to lay out the frets. Because every paddle is just slightly different, so I don't have a template or nothing to lay it out. So then I go along with my finger. I get the F. Put me a little mark there. See there? I'm getting that? And we just move around right up the thing. See if you can get a close up of that of the tuner there. There's the G. You can see I can I'll roll that a little bit so you can kind of see it. I'm going shooting for an A. Ooh, A sharp, so I'm a little high. So I work her down. It's a little sharp yet. Work my finger down until I get it right on the money. Right there's the A. So then I mark right where my finger's hitting. Make me a little mark right there. I just go all the way up until I get to the third octave there. Fifteen notes all together. B and the C are real close. Yeah, if you do quite a few of these, you kind of have a rough idea. close to where they're at so you get a little quicker as a group I overshot it just a hair I had it there it is oh dookie there did you show him oh dookie he's our mascot today Hi, dookie. dogs are good you get a lot of views with dogs it's always good when you hit one right when the first time when you get one right on the money, it feels good. Yeah, I didn't quite get it. There it is. E and F is always real close up in there. Ooh, I was close. Let's see how long this takes. Because i got to mark about 10 of these today. This one's going all the way to Hawaii. Then I got one going to Flory's Music in Peoria. And the music shop. There's one's one in, they have six locations statewide. And they want to put one in each location. So pretty excited about that. Now I'm going to get an idea having Casey video this or kind of show it and get an idea how long it takes me to do one i don't even know this is my last one here at high d right in between there sometimes i just kind of roll my finger up to it stubborn little guy there all right and there's all the marks can you see that now, we clamp her in the little jig here. Put my little pad on here. Clamp her sideways. I use my other jig here to hold this end up. Okay. Here's all my stamps. So I just go through and find out which one I got. I got the A. So I know that's F. The A is right here. Third one. Line her up with that. Line her up with my center line. Make sure I'm straight this way. And give her a whack. Make sure I'm down there. There we go. Straight. There's your A. Then we 
come on up here. EFGA is right here. There's the second A. Bam. Pull that one back. That is an E or an F. That's an E. You always got to make sure you got a face in the right way. Learn that the hard way. You know, because uh, once you stamp it, you can't erase the stamp, really. Yeah. <laughs> An E, you only need one E. You only need one up because you got an open. So, like this one. That's where you need good eyes, which I don't have. That's a G. Hard to tell a G and a C. Lined up there. What am I doing on time? 550. Not bad. Figured it took about 10 minutes. Just guessing. And B. Three more to go, yeah. F. Basic. Right, we got that all done. Where'd my pencil go? Down here under the beaver fur. <laughs> then we go through. We have to erase everything here. On the custom ones, I have to do it a little different because I can't. Uh, whoops! I can't draw a pencil on there once I put stain or if they're painted. The pencil doesn't work, so I have to do them a little different. It takes a little longer. But this is how I do the regular. So there they are. Now I just got to go through with my little marker, fill them in. Some of these markers work better than others. Sometimes they work great. Sometimes they dry out before I can even get one letter like this one. That's great. keep about 50 of them. Sometimes you go through a bunch of them. That's a good one. That's how we do every one of them. Time by hand.
So if it doesn't look like a machine did it, that's because a machine didn't do it. That's how we do it right here. That one's ready to roll. Now all we gotta do is plug it in and test it out. Box it up and ship this one to some island out in the Pacific. Fuck yeah. Ain't never been there. Maybe someday I'll go visit this guy. That's it. This is all going that way. Awesome. Thanks for watching.